cast out yet, just set the two rods up. It's high tide this morning at half past six, I've got an hour and a half of the flood, and then I'll be fishing it all down on the ebb all day long, and then maybe a couple of hours back on the flood again. So, so basically I've got two rods set up, the left rod is the usual suspects, the Lafe 14 foot long cast rod, Shakespeare Surf 7000 reel, that's with uh, 45 pound nine strand, uh, sorry, 55 pound nine strand Hercules braid, 60 pound ASO shock leader, 70 pound rig body. I've got two up, one down, they're not clipped down. 25 pound Floramax snoods. And I've just gone for size two Mustad Vikings. A little bit of mackerel and squid. And then on the bottom, again, 25 pound floor max. Uh, size one must have Viking and a little bit of mackerel and squid. So that's, and that's got, um, let's see what it's like. It looks flat calm. It's supposed to be a really light wind today, 15 to 17 kilometers an hour. And dry and sunny. Woohoo! Because it did nothing but rain yesterday, all day long and the day before. What a crappy June we're having. Today looks all right. The other rod is my Lenafe Blue Ocean, 14 foot. Got a simple pulley rig on here, short pulley. Again, that is same reel, but that's with 20 pound Shakespeare Salt line. Again, 60 pound ASO shock leader. 70 pound rig. That's the Kiyoki, 70 pound rig. Five ounce gripper. <coughs> with one of the uh, Gemini release clips on there. It's got a nice big bit of mackle and a whole bit of squid. And that's on a 2-0 and a 1-0 Mustad Viking. So I'm going to get the big rod cast in. See what the state of the tide's doing. I hope we get a few fish. Put that in the clip there, open it up, just pull it down a bit so it's horizontal. That just sits in there. When it hits the water, pushes that up and releases. Nice and streamlined. Because it's low water, I'm going to give it a fair big, fair big cast. So let's get it out.
comes after the first pass he does. Let's leave that for now. As you're looking at the tides, it looks like it's um, ever so slightly building tide. But it's going to be a high of 2.1. I can see the high tide line, it's about six, six to eight feet behind me. No, it's absolutely flat palm, so well, let's get this line pulled in. Yeah, we're well, all done. Well, let's get this one out. It looks like a very gentle uh, tide today. I'm going to get this one further to the left, we'll get it cast out. Hey yeah, guys, it's only been out of five minutes, just kept getting some weird, sort of like slow pullovers. I thought they were crabs, but after the second or third time, I thought I'd just bring it in, see what's on. Yeah, that's a wire, not a bad start. That's on the bottom bait, on the one below the lead, which is strange. Nice, decent white that one. On the mackerel and squid. I went for mackerel and squid on all three. Let's turn this hook around. There we go. Let's pop the hook. Straight out. Not a bad start, eh? Well, it ain't blank, so... Maybe the, the random wheel of fortune. Third time lucky. I might have to use it on the rivers. <laughs> Everywhere I go, I think. All right, let's get this boy back. Okay, it's six o'clock, it's a little bit slow, but I keep getting the bites, but I've always found here at the South Beach, the whiting bites are just so tentative. Normally we get fast rattles, bang, 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 but here they're just really laboured sort of like two or three gentle pulls. I don't know what it is, I don't know if it's just because South Beach chilled out a bit more, I don't know. But uh, what I'm going to do is, I've got the top snood baited up already. So I've got some lovely great big bled, salted and frozen lugs. I'm going to get these on, the top two. I'm still keeping mackerel and squid on the bottom in case of a doggy or anything. Then we'll get this cast out. See if it brings a better bite or two with the salted lug. It's done the damage the last two or three sessions, so I can't see why not today. Okay, I'm going to have to take the mic off for this and then cast out now. Uh, top two snoods, two lovely great bits of uh, salted lug, just tipped with a nice bit of squid. Great big fat lugworm. Alright, let's get this cast out. The 
tighter line on this because uh, I think the tide's just starting to turn, which is strange. Because we're not even at high tide yet. We're going to bring this rod in, check the bait. We'll see if we can get a, a faster response on the. I might uh, on the salted log and uh, squid. I'm going to bring this big rod in. I think I'm going to change to a pyramid lead on this one as well because there's very little flow. Big boy. I always find you get same same amount of lead, same weight, but those pyramid leads bloody fly. So much better than the grippers. They fly out. See the bass top over there. Fish bread the surface. Have a few quick spins with this Savage Gear 20, 28 gram uh, sand deal in ultra realistic. Not the ideal setup, but I've um, just connected to, to my 13 foot the Nafi Surf, very telescopic, and I've just put on a 25 pound floor max leader on there, tie direct. Now it's got a multiplier on there. Right, have a few quick spins see if I can get that. Good guys. Come up to half seven. A bit quiet. Go to the salted lug. Manage another white in. Not the biggest. It's starting to ebb now, strangely. So. Oh, it's really just tentative today. Just have to strike it. Uh, get a couple of little bounces, and that's it. It's nothing, uh, nothing violent. Try something a bit different. It's going to go for a lighter 
25 pound floor mats. I'm going to go for probably size 1.0 and a bit, bit of mackerel and, and see. Because they don't seem to do very well on the pedal hooks, you don't know what it is. So I'm going to try that, I'm going to get this cast out, get this cast out with lug and squid again. And then I'm going to bring the big rod in, have a switch around. Okay, it's half seven, just had the two white in. Did have a big slam down on there, but I missed it. But, um, that's just all, uh, I put salted log and squid on all three snoods. Not what I said I was going to do. Just going to tie uh, another hook length. Just uh, 25 pound floor max. Size 10 Mustad uptight Viking. And just a little bit of whole bit of baby squid. Just see if it makes a difference to one hook. I know it's smooth rounds and doggies, I've got a small mouth, so we're gonna try this because people are saying use smaller hooks, so we're gonna try that. Let's get it cast out. Well, at least let's see what that does, see if that produces the goods. It's not working, so we might as well switch things around and try things. Make the next cast with this left rod, the two up, one down. I'm going to go back and uh, put a bit of backbone on. Playing it out until we get the right. I'll probably put backer on the bottom, backer on the top snood, and then the one above the left put the salt and the squid. I might just put a bit of muscle or corn on or something, have a little play. At least we've got a beautiful day today. At least the sun's out. We're going to get up to about 20 degrees, 21. Oh, breath of wind. They are, they're just, this June is probably the worst, worst I've ever known. Maybe about seven or eight years ago we had a bad early June, but it only lasted like four or five days. And this year it's just nothing but rain, rain, bloody rain. I'm not talking light rain, it's just been hammering it down every day. So I was thinking years and years ago, I stopped about eight years ago. I used to take from about 18 all the way up until say eight years ago. I used to take that week off June the 16th for a week after and get hit in the rivers and go fishing, but the weather was just pants. Two or three years, June the 16th, windy, cold, raining, and I thought, nah, I stopped doing it. And apart from that first lockdown, where it was absolutely glorious, from May till September, yeah, you get, you get a couple of nice weeks in May and then it seems to turn cold again. I better loosen that drag off. I've got a four ounce grip up on the two up one down and I might put that on the uh, big rod next car. I've got a five ounce pyramid on there. But, um, it's holding. I'll go to the right and up tidying it to the right. Not tripping out. So. I just find it so much better in the uh, soft sand and mud and that. Like we've got around here when you're doing a big cast and lands in a pile of really uh, deep mud. Soft sand. I know it's on the gripper. When I brought it back, it was just caked in sand, wet sand and sandy mud. At least this, this is pulling free quite nicely. Coming up to half nine, it has been really, really quiet. 
for the last two hours on the ebb. It's been strangely brown. Very strangely brown. Seriously, dude. Strangely brown. Just what the fuck? Getting tiny little one-off little trembles. Like, you think they're crabs or something, but it's like... But you're bringing the bait in, they're clean. Haven't been touched. You just get one or two tiny little trembles and then that's it. I did have one about an hour ago on the two up one down and a uh, decent bike. Rod tip pulled over, struck into it, I felt a head shake. But it just locked up straight away and got snagged far out. Uh, I wound down to it, tried every angle but I just pulled for a break and it, it snapped me for sort of like at the leader so luckily i've got identical reels two mono two uh, braids and i'll just put the put the spare spool on re-rigged i'll try my new rig today now because now it's quiet i've got a three up and one down all short snoods i have had one cast with it with all mackerel on it but nothing nothing for about half an hour not a touch so the bottom bait they're all 25 pound floral max uh, bottom bait is a whole bit of shell on prawn with a bit of squid. That's on a little size, size one. The top, or the one above the lead and the middle one, are, they are actually size twos. No, they're not, they're size fours. They're size fours with a little bit, of, just one bit of salted lug and squid. And the top one, size six tiny little size six bait older hook with two um two muscles i just thread one on and then bind the other one over the top with a little bit of bait elastic and a bit of squid i'm just gonna have a play about because there's nothing biting at the minute so i might the fish baits are just not getting touched i've tried mackerel i've tried herring not a touch for the last hour and a half so might as well have a play about, switch things around and see if they're taking any sort of like prawn or mussel or anything like that. Well, I'm going to get this cast out. Yeah, the ebb's been quite strong, quite strange. I know I've probably got here a high tide or just coming on to slack water, but I started off with four ounce and then five ounce pyramid leads and five ounce grippers and stepped up to six ounces on both rods i've just gone back down to fives so it's slackening off a bit now the now it's on the ebb in the middle of the ebb so i'll just cast the rod out i've got my scratching rig on really small hooks the top one's a little size six bait holder up with the muscle Two size fours, must that up tied Vikings, and the bottom one size two. So just seeing if because the bites have been so finicky, even those two white in just the oddest, tiniest little shape. It's been really strange. Now, if I can, I want to go back to the uh, pyramid lead or straight lead as, as soon as I can because it's getting far better hookup ratio, I find, with it. Especially for smaller fish and that. When it's soft silt and deep mud and that, just pull straight out of it a lot easier rather than the grip lead sucking you in. And then any slack line, the fish shake his head and it's off. But there is, I mean, further you go out, it really sort of, there's a bit of a ledge. And it goes right down into softy mud. But I no weed problem, not, not, not one drop of weed today. Nothing. But it is really slackening off now, actually, the tide. We'll just see if there's anything about, any little whiting, any pouting, any little dabs.
I've still got a whole bit of squid on a size 1.0 on the left one. Just one hook. But that water still hasn't cleared up. Still quite murky. It's like a light brown. It is clearing up, but ever so slowly. With all the rain we've been getting and all the rest of it, and the last two days have been really strong hot winds and that. But maybe the Wheel of Fortune hasn't dealt such a good hand this week. We've still got two and a half, three hours, so you never know. Bottom of the air, low water, I might pick a few more white off. Now I'll just show you where we are. I've just come to the left of the Pleasure Beach. I walked up through Premier Inn car park, parked in the bays to the left. The outer harbour there. Our boat was the other way this morning, it swung round in the tide. I'm going to bring this left rod in, it's all of a sudden lurched over to the left. Wasn't that bad a second ago. The other one's fine, both got the same weight on it, so I don't know why this one does this. With the big bait. It's not that big, it's only a little bit of squid and single up, but I always find the panel hook seems to find the tide a bit more. It's absolutely dead. Dead. See more life than a tramp's vest. Absolutely nothing by him, so I'm going to do in a minute. I'm going to bring the big bait in, retire that one, and put up a two up and one down rig on that one. Get a couple of more baits in the water and just, yeah, you know, just put a bit of mackerel and squid and a bit of salt and lug and squid on that one to see if we can scratch anything out. But, it's absolutely pants. Not a knock, not, not a knock, not a tremble, nothing. So I'm having a coffee, if their fish ain't biting, I'm going to have a bite. A nice custard, sultana swirl. I was going to go out last Monday, and I should have done. I was kicking myself afterwards because, again, the Sunday, lashing it down all day. I was at work, but um, had a few beers, had a late night doing some video stuff. Monday, all night, hammering it down up until about 10 o'clock in the morning, 11 o'clock. 
I should have trusted the weather forecast, but you never can trust that. And it did what it said it was going to do by 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. The wind had dropped and it dried out, dry all evening. The plans were to leave the house about 1 o'clock, half past 1, get down the course to the pier, and hopefully fish about 3 o'clock till dark. And I really wish I did it now. It was dry and bright and sunny and the wind had dropped. And I was kicking myself. Not, uh, I didn't want to go and be rough and safe with the weather. Now, but I should have chanced it. Missed the opportunity there. Okay hey guys, course 12, I bought the uh, right hand rod in, the three out one down, it's been out about nearly half an hour, 20 minutes, half an hour, the base was clean as they went in, not a touch, no, nothing, just, just as good as a cast them in, so I changed the prawn, put a nice bit of mackerel on the bottom, just cast that out, I've left the big rod, I thought, well, at the minute, when there's just nothing biting at all, not even any crabs, no, getting nothing on the right hand rod, so I might as well just leave the big rod in and as a sleeper. Um, got nothing to lose because there's nothing biting on the other rod. Um, so I thought, well, I'm going to give it another 45 minutes and then call it a day. Um, so basically, if I get a fish, You'll see it, but if not, tight lines, all the rest guys, take care and I'll see you again in another video. Cheerio! Okay guys, pull the big rod in. I've just uh, got a couple of tiny little trembles on this one. So I was just winding it in to start packing up. And I've got the, uh, the booby prize. <laughs> The weirdest, oddest looking emaciated dab ever. But, uh, it's all green mottled. I don't know if I've got quite a uh, see through it, transparent, salted logging squid. Oh no, that's on the mackerel. The mackerel and. mackerel and. Uh, salted log. Please. Strange looking dab. Well, we didn't blank. Three fish. Hey ho, that's the way it goes, I suppose. I'll get this little fella back. I don't know how long he's been on. But if anyone can tell me, this South Beach, I've only fished it once or twice before, but I've never known it like this, where you cast out and it's just like lot solid and there must be thick mud out there. It must be thick mud. But when you bring it, it's no weed, but when you bring it in, your line is like covered in this really green foamy stuff. Um, and it stinks. It's just like all along the line is like real fine green foamy bubbles. Um, and I thought I'd snag out there, I'd put, point the rod at, at the sea and just walk back and walk back and just pulling it all through and it's like, it's like this suck, suction, it's just like strange. Because kept this one in and cast too far out, about 70, 80 yards, 70 yards. But um, yeah, it's just, and that tide sort of slackened off now, where I'm just casting slightly to the right, about one of the fish, setting dead in front of me. But, um, yeah, trying to get the lead out, it's just mad. Anyway, fish to end on. Tight lines, all the best, and I'll see you again.